Hi, my brothers and sisters. This is Mary Hernandez with Genesis Kingdom, part one. So um, I'm doing, I guess you could say, a series two of the elements. Um, plus, it also gives me a better discernment in how to explain it better uh, in more detail. Um, now that I have more wisdom, more discernment, and more knowledge. Still don't know everything, but I'm still learning. And as I go, I will share with you what I do learn. Um, and the Holy Spirit always guided me. I have to always give credit to the Holy Spirit because without my mother, I would not, would not have the wisdom and discernment that I do have to preach the truth and deliverance to this world and liberty. No more blind justice. No more blind justice. Okay. So, um, I, I picked, um, when I did the research on how to explain elements, I went into Google. So, it gives you a couple of options. Um, of course, just like it does if you're looking how to heal a cut, it's going to give you different ways to do it. But if you know the formula that you need that is going to comprehend, to help you connect the chemicals, this is exactly how it is with, um, with the Bible. You know, it's got a lot of um, beautiful Bible scriptures that you could put together, and the formula and the truth is in there. Nothing else written, but a little bit of explanation, and to go detail. So when I explain what it is that I found in the internet to help you understand it. Um, and then back it up with the Bible verse so could kind of piece it together for you. So when I did the research, um, it brought in about four of the elements of God, right? It says, and everybody knows, what is it? In his famous doctrine of the four elements, the Greek, the philosopher, and the and I'm going to spell that for you so you can look for it. But that was back in the uh, 5th century BC. So I actually didn't go and research that word, and I should have, but I'm sorry. But it's um, E as in Edward, M as in Mary, uh, Amped, Osis. So it's E as in Edward, M as in Mary, P as in Paul, E as in Edward, D as in David, O as in Oscar, C as in Charlie, L as in Larry, E as in Edward, S as in Sandra, right? It says, in the 5th century B.C., divided the world into four elements that are associated for divinities. What are they? The earth. And then it has, in parenthesis, Hera, which is the air. Sias, and then it has fires, fire, and then it has Haiti. And then it has um, water, right? And then it has another definition for them, prophesome. Prophesome, prophesome, sorry. P E R S E P H O N E. I also didn't research that word, but I could tell you everybody knows the water, right? Everybody knows the earth. Everybody knows the gods that they call here in the world, right? And then Zeus is known as the ungodly god. If you do some research on him, a lot of the they're the divinities of the world. These are the people that are ungodly. This is the people that you got the world praying to as God in this world. Um, it's the best way to explain it. Hades, you know, the god of the fire was fire, hell, you know. Now, and now it says, proceeding outward from the earth, they were a moon. They were Mercury's, Venus, the sun, the Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Each atmosphere, right, of the seed of one are seven chemicals, elements. What? Silver, mercury, copper, gold, iron, tin, and lead. Each heavenly sphere resonated with the note of the Western musical scales. Now, if you remember in school, right, how um, the periodic table, right, in science, remember that? <laughs> Um, I wish I had, I had actually, I had it where it would always come out, but I can't find it when I was getting ready to preach this to you. You know how, um, let me see if I could, at least I'm not too good in drawing, so please forgive me. 
you know how it has the periodic table, right? And then it has, like right here, I'm sorry, you probably can't see. I'm just going to make a number up. And then you have like LE, something like that, if you can see, right? If And this is just like what they come up with. So say um, I autumn, right, in autumn, it has it. Like if you remember in science or hydrogen, you know how it had it, right? So what do they do? You're going to get a scientist. That's a philosopher, a musician, a scientist. These are scientist people. These are people that you get it. If you do the research, look it up. It'll look something like this, right? Those are the elements in the world. When you do research, um, example, I put um, Isaac Newton, right? Um, I forgot what it is that he said um, he ended up finding. So he was a philosopher. He was a scientist. He was good in music. That's where you hear it. Also, perfect example, you could go to Acts, read Acts 13 all the way down. Barnabas, Paul, they were philosophers. They were um, science. They were magicians, um, wizards, you know, warlocks. When you read it, he tells you, I think he was known as Mercury and um, the other one was um, Jupiter. Go look at it. It's in the Bible. That's what it means. These are men that said they discovered. All right, well, I'm Mercury now. Well, hey, that's him that discovered it. Oh, that's the God of Mercury. Hello. You get it? That was Bernabas. Bernabas was looked up because he was, I think he was either Mercury or Jupiter. And he says it. It tells you in the Bible. It's in there written just the way I'm telling you. Nothing added to it. Nothing more. Those are the elements of the world. Those are the people that sit there, call themselves God, and then everybody worships them because he discovered this. Remember what, um, what, um, that, I can't say it like that, um, that sad story about Christopher Columbus discovered America. No, he didn't. Some people were already there. And do you remember hearing the story? They went in there and they massacred everybody. They took in the land, put their names in it, and that's what they did. This is what they've been doing. This is what they've been doing all the centuries from the very beginning. From the very beginning. You know, was he somebody famous? No, he wasn't. He went and he murdered people to take their land. And yet everybody um, celebrates Christopher Columbus. Bullshit. You know, why would you? You know, he sat there and killed, massacred people all over the world. The same with Thanksgiving. What is there to be thankful of that day? What is it to be thankful of that day? They went in there and they acted very nice to these people that were Indians. Sat there and feast with them. And then slaughter all of them. And here we are, Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? This is how sick this world was. In almost making a holiday to something that they did something so awful. No. It was actually a day of sorrow for those people. You know, this is what's been happening with our ancestors from the beginning of Genesis. You know, our voice was shut up. Our, our history, our identity was robbed by evil people that had no business in it, none at all. But because they felt self-entitled, they take that voice from you. They take your identity from you. You know, it's robbery. And this is to tell you the real history. Do I know everything, brothers and sisters? No, I don't. But as I'm learning, I share my wisdom, my discernment, my knowledge that my mother and my Holy Spirit guides me. And it's written. It is in there. And this is what she's saying, that the world worships. This is what the people make God. And yet, because you don't see the maker, we don't believe, but you want to believe in somebody that's in person in front of you, that's God. We're in the image made of our mother. Those are the image made in Satan, of witches and warlocks that want nothing for evil for this world. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you get where I'm going with that? Okay. So then it brings me to Galatians. For one, and I just read this, but I'm only going to read one through five. And then it talks about the word um, elements. It is the Greek 
and it says Sokion, which means any first thing or principle in bondage under the elements of the world refers to the fact that it is uncoveted, an uncoveted mind that is subject to an influence of Satan and his demons, the rulers of this world, the authors and all idolatrous worship. Exactly what I just said. And the sad thing is, it is in the Bible. It tells you about Paul. It tells you about Barnabas. That is Jupiter, that, and their sorcerers, their philosophers. It tells you that. It's in there. If you really go and read Acts, um, but really starts at four. If you want to read all of it and really study it. But when you get to the part that actually tells you that Bernalva is, they'll tell you. And they say, you know, oh, I go in there. I'm, I'm in debt. I'm a debtor, not only to the world, but also to God, you know. So I'm going to preach a little bit of Jewish. And then I'm going to push, preach a little bit of Greek, which is Satanist. Go read that. That's really what it is. They call it Grecian. So I'm going to preach a little bit of both. But hey, I'm going to get you to believe that I am God. And voila, there you are worshiping me, calling me God, calling me the creator of all this ends of the earth. And voila. And where's the maker? Nobody sees me, she says. And it does say it in there. She said, nobody knows me. Nobody knows me. They know the truth. That's why they change the Bible in there to put it he and no she. But who who sat there and had us? It had started somewhere. And it was before the ends of the world wasn't breathing life into us. Now. And it says, what does the Bible say about elements of the element? Element. And Tai so Sochii is the letters of the alphabet, the elements. Remember what I just wrote to you right here and how they put it? You know, kind of, if you go, remember the periodic table in science, I tell you, I love school. <laughs> I was a school girl when I was in there. So it was like, kind of like this. Do you remember that? If you really were to look deep in it, you will see that it refers to a man. It goes back to a story and it'll bring you to a man. That was the one that discovered that element and boom, we're going to patent his name in it. And voila, he's the one that discovered gravity. He's the one that discovered this, you know, air, whatever. You know, do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I, where I'm going with that? That's what it means. And those are the men that are saying, I'm God. Oh my God, he discovered this. Bow down to him. That's God. Woohoo. And people do it. People do it. People actually look to the sun and worship the sun. People actually look to the moon and worship the moon. People think that this person from Saturn is God and they worship him. Jupiter, the name Paul. You got um, Gemini. You know, you, you get all that. That is all astrologer, all sorcerers. Do you get where I'm going with that? That Those are the elements, Okay. So, of course, it says the element was tied Sochia, the letters of the alphabet, the elements out of all which is things that are formed, the heavenly bodies, the fundamental principles of art or what? Science. What does the Bible mean by elements? Elements is the primary sense of denoting the principle, the constituents of things. So then it brings me to 2 Peter 3.10. Let's go to 2 Peter 3.10. I was like, I know Peter's down here somewhere. <laughs> 2 Peter 3.10. And it tells you, just like that. I'm going to start off from five. Sorry. I have to keep track because, um, so when I go note this, I know where to post it. So PETA 3, 10, but I'm actually going to start off five through 10. Okay. You were able to make it there a little bit.
Um, oh, actually, I am going to take you back to where our parents fell asleep. You know, this. I'm going to read to Peter 3, all of it. Now it says this, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance, that you may be mindful of the words which are spoken before by the holy prophets and the commitments of us, the apostles and the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days the scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers, since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Do you see how they, te they tell you in there? Well, since our parents fell asleep, but you know, who's the one that stood faithful in all this? Our creator, Mother Yahweh. And I'm going to tell you why. Because she promised that land to our, our fathers from the very beginning. They fell asleep because of sin and they changed the language. They changed it to where it was man, and they started worshiping man. They started making themselves God, and then that's when she left. However, she still sat there, still didn't give up on us, and still sending people. Am I right or not? Come on. Come on, somebody. You know, she would still send people in there and be like, hey, come back to me. Hey, come on. Stop worshiping man. Hey, hello. And while you're sitting there waiting for the promise, she's sending you somebody to tell you what it is that our parents fell asleep. They changed the language and made themselves God and sat there and the daughters are bowing down to elements in the world and not of her. So she backed off. However, she still went in there. She still sends you prophets and daughters and sons of the Most High God to tell you how it is to walk into your promises, but you're being stubborn. You're being hard-headed and not letting it. What do you think the witches and the demons are fighting for in this world? For you to stay asleep like our parents did. And then what? You will hear this Bible verse over and over. 2 Peter 3, 4. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Why? Because you're still bowing down to men. You're still bowing down to men in the world. That is what she's saying. Those elements in the world is what's keeping you from your promise. Not all, because I heard some, I heard a, a beautiful revelation. Um, I think she goes by Star Vibes. Amazing, amazing. You guys should really look her up. Um, she was saying one that somebody um, has a testimony that he did as one of the the prophets or daughters or sons that were preaching out there. And then he started getting blessed. So now he has that testimony. That's a victory over the enemy. Do you get it? He actually did what God was telling him to do. And then her, his toast testimony, we're going to hear if we haven't already been out there. Do you see what I mean? Your testimony is still waiting for a man to come and rescue you. That's never going to happen. That's what she tells you. Stop bowing down to, to men, to the beast system, to the ones that make themselves of gold, silver, whatever elements in the world. Do you understand? Do you get it? Now, 2 Peter 3, 5. For they willingly are ignorant of, and by the word of God, the heavens were of the old. The earth was standing out of water and in the water. Do you get it? When people say when that, that Jesus was walking in the water, it's a metaphor. It means that you're walking in a covet with the Most High God. That's what it means. You're in a covenant with our mother, Yahweh, not just her children. She's asking this world. And what keeps Satan that had dominion over it? Was it power? No, it wasn't. It was sin because you were sinning. Because you are bowing down to elements in this world. The witches and warlocks, nothing. Their power is nothing. The only power they had is you thinking that they're stronger than your maker. Woe to you. And what is it that opened that little gateway? Because of sin. So it takes you back in there. How do you get out of that and walk into your promised land? No sin, a water covet, bowing down to no man in the world, no religion in the world, you know, 
That's what it means. You understand? Now, 2 Peter 3, 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly men. But beloved, I love that, my beloved, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. One day with the Lord is a thousand years. Ain't that true? Amen to that. And a thousand year is one day. The Lord is the, the Lord does not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but the long suffering of us word, not willingly in any should perish, but all shall become to repentance. But one day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away, the great noise of the elements shall melt and fiber heat. And the earth also, the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, with what manner of a person are you be? If are you to be holy conversation of God lines, looking for hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens of being on fire shall dissolve the elements, and they shall melt with vibrant heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens, the new earth, wherein dwelleth what? Righteousness. Come on, your royalty, the real blo royalty bloodline. We're in the world, but not of the world, which is set an example of marriage values, family values, church values, the maker, that there is no other. That's all. Seek righteous. We were filthy rags, syringe in blood, covet, worshiping idols and men that want nothing more but for you to fail. We were running to our enemies as grasshoppers. And there are actually fleas. Get it? Now, 2 Peter 3.14 Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligently that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. What does it say again? Wherefore, beloved. Okay, 2 Peter 3, what? 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligently that you may be found of him in peace without spot and without blameless and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation even as for our beloved brother Paul and according to the wisdom given unto him that had written unto you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some are the things that are understood which they are unlearned unstable rest and also other scriptures unto their own destructions you therefore beloved seeing that you know these things be for beware at least you also are being laid away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness and that's that bible that verse this is the spirit of the error and the spirit of the truth you know, you got somebody that's telling you, hey, this is the way to do it. But you're jealous, you're mad, you're angry. And you're all like, God, where are you? He sends you people to say it, but you're being hardheaded. And instead, you're going to a man, elements of the world that don't want you to walk into your promised land, that don't want you to walk into your inheritance. So they're going to say, hey, it's okay. Let's go kick it. Let's go get drunk. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Boom, boom, boom. There you are. You let that garden in your calling. You let that garden into your promises of the Most High God. You let that garden into the land flowing with milk and honey, and they're feasting on it. You're not. And that's why they fight. with. They fight and actually you say, don't listen to her. She's crazy. Don't believe. Don't believe. And then you're going to be like others that are not going to get blessed. Is that what you want? Because that's what the world wants. The ungodly ones, my correction, the ungodly ones. 
so they continue feasting off of yours. And that's also in the Bible. Now, um, the message of 2 Peter 3.10, we ended up reading, um, I'm sorry, all of it, 1 through 18. And it says, the element should be dissolved in the secondary sense that it denotes the first principle of any art or science that you're going to see. This is just man. This is just scientists. These are people that are wizards, um, warlocks, witches, wizard. Do you understand? Element grounded in science and scripture. Through the modern scientists might dismiss this element of what? Of air, water, fire, earth, as an agent, persuado science, dogma, the character of this element seen, and every one used by modern science, are the four keys of dimensions, space, time, energy, and mass. What are the Bible says about the elements, right? I think I have one more to do. And then I have to do a second video. Uh, in Colossus 2 8. Listen to it and it tells you like that. Collis 2. Collisions or Collison 2. 8. Beware, at least if any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rumors of the world and not after Christ. Because it's having you, this whole world deceit. It has the whole world just under, under this. This, I don't know what to call it in believing that there are gods. That they're the ones that discovered. They're the ones that built this. They're the ones that did that. Houses? Was it was it men? Yes. Sometimes you even see women out there. I personally wouldn't do it, but hey, you know, to each his own. Do you see what I mean? That's different. That's different. They said, well, no, some so built a house. That's not what she's saying that she made. Go back to the beginning of Genesis and it'll tell you the creation. That's what she made, the trees, this world. That's what she's saying. You, me, that's her. You know what I'm saying? These people ended up making themselves God. That's the difference in what she's saying. You're going to the seed of man that he's saying, I'm God, I'm God, because you see it. And you get this Holy Mary, Joseph, and, and Jesus, you know, that they're going out there saying that they are, and they're not. They're not. They're going off of our framework that is in the Bible, the Messiah hasn't been born yet. And I, I did one in Iran that tells you until we get to the promised land, then boom, we're already here. Boom, because I see it. I prophesy it. Blessing after blessing, blessing after blessing. That me and my seeds are mighty in your land. Power of the tongue. You have to watch. You can't, like, and I get it with some of you that are just starting to transform from the darkness and into the light. I was there. You know, I, I, she had to take time to heal me, you know, but we're preaching God on this, on this YouTube channel. And then we start cussing people out. Well, how much of an audience are you going to get like that? You know, All right. we're children of the most high God. We're righteous. We're royalty. Act like it. Act like it. It all starts inside. I'm renewing. And then the renewal of your mind. And then really reading the Bible. Ask for wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. And then change. Change your whole mindset. You're a child of the Most High God. <coughs> Stop bowing down to men. We'll see you for part two video. Shalom, shalom.